myself uh, Vikram. I am working as an assistant professor in M. Kumarasamy College of Engineering for past uh, seven years. I am belongs to CAC department. I am handling big data laboratory for our uh, students. In our big data laboratory, we are having n number of tools uh, to analyze the huge volume of data. So actually we are uh, having Hadoop as a base one. On top of Hadoop, we are having MapReduce and then Pig and then MongoDB and then Cassandra, every software we are having. So actually that uh, Hadoop software is used to store and process a huge volume of data in which uh, we are having two core components like HDFS and MapReduce. These are the two core components are available. By using this, we could able to analyze the huge volume of data. If you want to analyze the data by using MapReduce, we should know only Java or Python. We are having a structured data to analyze those structured data. If we are having the query based results, System that will be very easy to analyze huge volume of data. So because of that reason, on top of MapReduce, we have installed Hive. So the Hive is a uh, query language which is used to uh, query a huge volume of data. So if it is available in the structured format. Then we are having pick scripting. That pick scripting is also used to process the huge volume of data available in different formats like uh, structured, unstructured, or semi-structured. Any format we could able to analyze that data by using pig. And then we are having uh, most of the data in the world are available in unstructured or uh, semi-structured data. If we want to analyze the uh, NoSQL data, we are having MongoDB and Cassandra in our uh, laboratory. By using that, the student could able to analyze uh, NoSQL data also. Uh, currently, most of the industry industries are using a uh, Spark instead of Hadoop because uh, Spark is uh, 10 to 100 times uh, faster than Hadoop. Uh, by using Spark, we could able to perform task which took one minute into a 10 second or uh, within a five second. So Spark is using in-memory computing. In our lab also, we are installed uh, Spark. Uh, on top of Spark, we could able to analyze uh, the data by using Scala or R or Python. In our laboratory, we are having all those three facilities. If the students are familiar with Python, they can go with PySpark or else if they are familiar with the Scala, they can go with uh, Scala with Spark. That's all about this uh, big data laboratory. And then addition to that, we are having machine learning laboratory and then cloud computing laboratory. Thank you.